Yes, number one. <laughs> number one. Number one. Please welcome the adorable icon that is Julie Andrews. <laughs> to see you, Julie, as am I. Thank you. How lovely Mutual. to see you again. We saw, well, I met you at one of these Hollywood things a while yeah, back. A long time back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, could you go to a lot of these things? Uh, yeah, enough. Really? Yeah. yeah no, no, I, I, you, I, you're a bit of an icon. Did people kind of pussyfoot around you a little bit? There's no. Lots of, there's lots of kissing up, I noticed. No, that. no. Yes, there is. <laughs> I was kissing up to you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> What about you? No, no, you, they don't. no, no, not at all. I no, see. it's like, oh, look, it's the guy that was on the nanny. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of nannies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes you were um, slightly putting down nannies. A I was not, I, well, not so much. I was saying that not all nannies are as lovely as Mary Poppins. Ah, Mary Poppins oh, was right, a lovely right, nanny. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I love Mary Poppins. I do. Retribution or something. You know? No, 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 absolutely not. I love Mary Poppins. I watch now Mary Poppins. I watch it again now with my son. Well, yes, it's, it's a very good babysitter. Yeah, isn't it, it is. Yes. Just, I watch that kid. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's gone for a nap time. Watch that. But I, uh, when you were shooting that movie, did anyone? Did you shoot the movie in England? No, oh. she shot it here at the, on the I, Disney lot. Because I wonder, lot, yeah. I wonder, cause you are English, of course. Oh uh, yeah, I certainly and, am. And did anyone mention at the time to Dick Van Dyke, uh, you know, the accent? I think Dick mentioned it to himself. Oh, he knew. Yes, he knew. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because well, I, that was, I had never heard any English people before that time, so I thought English people sounded a bit like, oh, Mary Bobby, <laughs> and like that. But I heard. A, when I heard a real English person, I was like, oh, how charming. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I get your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely film, though. It oh, is a lovely thank film. You. Now, what's interesting about your book is, though, it stops at Mary at Poppins. At Mary Poppins, it yeah, does. Because we yeah. con why do you, what do you concentrate more on in this book? By the way, I love this photograph. Isn't that nice? Thanks. Isn't that lovely? Uh, it was taking some time yes. in, my, yes. in my youth. What a sweetie pie. Um, I kind of ended the book there because... I think after, uh, I, nobody really knows, what I, what I wanted to write was a tiny portion of theatre history that perhaps not too many people know about. Well, you were brought up kind I of in I was the brought theater, up yeah. in the English Music Hall in right. Vaudeville and... and uh, I did a bit of that towards the... Did you? Well, a little bit. I well, mean, I, a lot of the guys I worked with very early on yeah. were guys who had, you know, grown up that, through yeah. that time. And I, honestly, uh, Craig, I see, a, you know, I feel that you know everything about Vaudeville. Well, a lot of the material I use is from Vaudeville. Yes. It's, uh, you know, it's, yeah. it... No, it's wonderful, though. It's well, wonderful. it's... Because it's a special kind of humour. Did you ever know a guy called Dennis Critchley? No. Dennis worked with, uh, I think he worked with Max Wall at the Hackney Empire. Oh, well, Empire. I worked with Max Wall. Right, Max Wall used to do the, uh, yes, the funny did, walk yes, and all and that. Professor yeah. Wolofsky was and his main character. Yeah, and that was, uh, Mick Jagger ripped that completely off. Well, and began, <laughs> uh, sort of, yes. Kind of, yes. didn't he? I never, like, I ain't, I ain't I like never that. put those two together yeah. at all. No, that I oh, think is what happened. Yeah. But uh, Dennis Critchley used to work the Hackney Empire. And, and he, I've worked the Hackney Empire. The Hackney Empire in the East End of London was a theatre where during the Blitz of London they were dropping bombs and the comedians kept going. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, That's kind of right. what it feels like to work here or something. <laughs> Um, yeah. Do, and uh, your your stepfather was uh, Ted Andrews, right? That's right. Who, who yeah. was, uh, he was, he a... was a tenor, and had, right. he and my mum had a kind of uh, drawing room act where they started off with light opera, and then they went into ballads, and then they went into sort of popular songs of the day, and he played the guitar a bit Presley like and uh, and then you you came out and then I the, but then I, when I was about um, eight or nine I started joining their act because I had this freak uh, voice of like four voice, octaves yeah, you know and yeah. uh, sort of dogs for miles around would howl when I <laughs> went that high you know <clears throat> and um, 
Uh, so I joined the act, and then eventually we, we became a threesome, and then I went out on my own and after when, that, and that no, all really. over And did you ever work with uh, people like, uh, like Peter Sellers oh, and, gosh, and, and yeah. people around Tony, Spike Milligan? Yes, and Tony Hancock. And, Tony um, Hancock's a very interesting figure, wasn't he? He was, he was a very tragic, very, yeah, very there, funny yeah, comedian. Yeah, I did a lot of English pantomimes, which I don't think many Americans know what English pantomime is. Well, let, stay with us, America. They Here's what we're going to do. It's hard to explain. Basically, it's a lot of men dressing up as ladies. Right. A lot of uh, ladies dressing up as men. And catchphrases. Yes. This show actually is a pantomime. That's really what it is. <laughs> it kind of is, yes, isn't it? In a way. Yeah. I mean, it's very old fashioned, retro English, Scottish musical yeah, humour. I played a lot of places in Scotland. Did too. you really? Where did you play? I played uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen. Where did you play in Glasgow? I'm from there. Oh, um, is it the Princess Theatre? Uh, 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 the Pavilion uh, Theatre and no. the King's Theatre, and there was uh, the Empire. Oh, Empire. It must yeah, have yeah, been Glasgow. Yeah, the Empire. But Second House Saturday Night, Glasgow ah, yes. was. Rowdy. Yeah, they, they actually had to knock it down while the second house was in. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, no, it, oh, it, it was, was notorious. Legendary. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy there, an English uh, comedian, Des O'Connor. Yes, was, I know him. He was out there doing the second show on a, on a, a Saturday night, and he, it was so bad he pretended to faint. He admits it. He admits it. Really? On stage, he went, oh, and fainted. <laughs> And then Smart they took them off. Hey, absolutely. I wish I'd done that. I, I might pretend to faint before the end of this show. <laughs> Don't. No, 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 I'm all right. <laughs> um, but, I mean, they would be throwing bottles in the, in yeah. the balcony. Oh, you're making me homesick. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you go back over to England a lot? You I do. A lot of time uh, over more, there? more than people know. Uh, twice or three times a year if I can. Right. Yeah. But your home is in Los Angeles? Yeah. I and live you've lived here, here for quite some time. I've now, lived here you? now. Oh, gosh. 40-something years, it's I guess. It's changed a bit, L.A., hasn't it, I well, think? It keeps getting more and more crowded and busy. And, uh, and also, what do you think? Because you, you were a star very, very young. Yeah. Uh, when you did Mary Poppins, you must have been really 20 early 20s. 20 something, yeah. Yeah. And the, the, I mean, the kids that are becoming fam that famous now, they're all kind of making sex tapes. And Are there any tapes around? That's <laughs> what I'm Mary saying. Poppins. Are there any tapes around? Of Mary Poppins. I, I'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, no, because I mean it, that would keep one forever in front of the public. I think right, if one yeah, had done yeah, that. Yeah. But there, there's a there's a very nasty um, uh, film um, uh, audition that I did, which was so awful right. that if it ever came out, I might never have worked in this town again. Let's know? get hold of that, will we? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd go. No, I've gone. No, I wouldn't do it. Do you think it, I mean, it's very different now with it. I mean, the, the, we, were, we were talking earlier on about the, the, the studio system, which you would have just clipped the tail end of it, right? Right. The, they used to protect and hide they their did. stars they and stuff did, like that. Yeah. They did, yeah. Well, actually, the, the, the thing that I really clipped the end of was vaudeville in England. Right. Because that was dying as I was touring around and around and around. That right. was really the, the, the end days of music hall in England. It and seems, television came in. I think it's back a little bit, though. Do you? I, yes, I do. I think in, in a slightly different way. I think on the internet, I think the, the things like the YouTubes and the people making little videos and little films well, and yes, stuff. Well, yes, true. It's kind of, it, there is a kind Except of... Except you can't get the kind of experience, you can't practice yeah. the, the way the you minute, Yeah, that's true. And the thing is, you can't get it... The minute you do it, it's out there. It's out there and yeah. it's for everybody to see. I know, if you make a mistake or whatever. You I know. know, that's why I, I feel about this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry. No, I, I, I don't. Listen, it's, I, I can't wait to get to get into this a little more. I, oh. I, I'm so happy to finally get you on the show. Will you come back and visit I'd us very soon? I'd love to. Thank love you to. very much. I'm indeed. a huge fan. I'm right back at you, lady. Hey. Right back at you. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely Julie Andrews, everyone. The 19th, and she's in Atlanta on August the 2nd, and Philadelphia on August the 7th. <gasps> Julie Andrews, everybody! not do that for me and I have them professionally warmed. 
I guess you come every evening and I don't, or something like that. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Yes. I'm Last very, time I'm I was here, you didn't have that. No, I know. I, I don't know if it'll be here next time either. I, I'm very unsure about it. I now, what see. do you think? Well, it's a bit Fu Manchu ish, isn't is it? Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But mm. actually, it does lend a sort of rakish air. I know, that's what I thought. I'm not sure, though. See, the truth is, Craig, that I'd take it either way with you. I'd, I mean, really, I think it's great, and without it, it's great. Too. No, yeah. thank you. Well, I thought I'd butter you up a yeah, bit. No, yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. Well, which brings me nicely to what you've come here to plug. Yes. Yes. Well, I thought I would just no, pop in and say hello. <laughs> yeah, you know what I used to love? You remember the old, uh, they used to have the old Christmas specials that Bing Crosby would yes. have them? And he'd say, like, he, was, he would have an old fake fire going on, and he'd be saying, oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. i got to go and beat the kids. And then... <laughs> The doorbell would go, and he would go, oh, somebody at the door, and, and he'd go to the... Rosemary like, Clooney or yeah, something. Or yeah, or David Bowie was there or yes, something. Remember that? Right. You know, David Bowie came to Bing Crosby's house for Christmas? <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> and they sang together. I know. Well, I, as I say, I just thought I'd pop in. Well, you popped you know. in. And so we'll, we won't sing together, though. Really? No, I can't sing with his moustache. <laughs> uh, Frankly, you... I couldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Much too hard. No, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I completely understand. Now, you know, by the way, explain. can I tell you, that's what I used to look like before uh, I grew the moustache. Yeah, in your youth, right? Yeah. Yes. Very now, you, this is a book. What's this book about? This is a book that I wrote with my daughter several years ago. Okay. And it's a little fairy tale, a fable for children. Is this a little fairy here? No. Okay. He's, he, this is This is Simeon, and the book is called Simeon's Gift. And right. to be really brief, uh, she, my daughter and I are very passionate about the arts and literacy and we tried to combine the two right. in a little story about uh, music and the creative process and about a musician who goes out to find his talent and his seek his muse and so on right. and this little book has had the most amazing serendipity and good fortune and it has brought me to the Hollywood Bowl this Friday and Saturday and then Atlanta and then Philadelphia. Are you, are you going to say? I'm, I'm going to sort of, well, I'll get to that in a All second. Right, okay. But it's going to be with a beautiful symphony orchestra and a little bit like Peter and the Wolf or the Carnival of oh, Pianos. Right, right, I'll yeah. be narrating and I've got five wonderful people with me. And um, it's going to be a super evening. The first half of the evening is all about, it's the gifts of music, old and new. Right. And the first half is Rodgers and Hammerstein. Second half is Simeon's Gift, which has just been set to music. And it is glorious. And are you right? going to sing? And I'm going to surprise a few people by doing a few things, yes. Right. I'm, I wouldn't say that I sing the way I used to in, on the screen, but there's a certain timbre left. Oh, nice, right. yeah. I like that. Because you didn't sing for a while. I haven't. To be truthful, I, I, I go out and I do speaking engagements, but I haven't been back you know, on the stage for about uh, 10 years or more. Are you nervous? It, are, are you kidding? My heart just keeps dropping into my boots and coming back up again. May I suggest something that will give yes. you great confidence? A false moustache. Uh, <laughs> well, I nearly walked out in one tonight, but I just thought it no, would give no, the wrong no, 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 you must yeah. no, Shall I try it? I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. what. Do you have any little uh, things that you used to do when you were performing, like any little OCD things before you go on? I used to wear magic underpants and stuff like that. <laughs> No, I haven't sort of... It's been so long, Craig, I've sort of forgotten. No, no, you, you've got to try to... Do, do, get a, the, all the little rituals you used to do yes. when you were working. Because you worked back in, in music hall oh, in the yeah, UK. Oh, yeah, lots and lots of Right, things, you, yeah. you were out there singing every yeah. night. You must have had a little routine. Well, a few things. My mum was more superstitious than I am. Right. She was really superstitious. What did she do? Well, you know, you couldn't whistle in the dressing room. You had couldn't walk under ladders and all of that kind of... And if you did whistle in the dressing room, you had to turn around three times and go out and knock and come in again. That kind of stupid thing. Well, do that. Don't don't whistle and do that anyway. You think it'll help? Yes, yeah. What All you right. do is uh, don't whistle, but walk around in three circles, go out and come back in again, and then you'll have the luck that you'll need by, uh, and also it'll be on top of not whistling, which is Are you sure you bonus. know what you're talking about? I'm not about. sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm even here. <laughs> No, I, I think I, I worry about you being nervous. Well, you must be nervous. Yeah. But everyone's there to well, see you. Well, you know, of course one's nervous, and everybody right. should be and, uh, that's perfor a performer, I think. I mean, do you get nervous before? No. No? No. That's unbelievable. I used to. I used to get nervous. When I started doing this don't show... Don't scratch I, it. It's don't scratch it. No, 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 it's not a good idea. I, 
I, it'll have to go. It's either, it's either that or scratch another part of me. Heaven <laughs> <laughs> put mind boggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if I didn't, see, that's moustachist, because if I didn't have a moustache there and I just scratched like that, you wouldn't have said anything. No, I wouldn't. Nah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> hey, you're doing uh, Vegas, I you? am doing Vegas. Have you done Vegas? I have done Vegas. You're quite a lot, probably. Yeah, no, no. Oh. I did it once. All I right, think. don't be, no, no, don't be strict. <laughs> no, it was just, I did it once at the Caesars Palace. Oh, right. And uh, I did about uh, 16 performances there many years ago. It's changed a lot since yeah, I was Yeah, yeah, but it's changed back. Well, it's much more family friendly. No, not anymore. No. It went family friendly. Really? And, yeah, it went family friendly. There was no money in it, so they kicked all the kids out. It's back to dirty, sexy Vegas. And now again. you're there, right? Yeah. And I'm right back in. <laughs> And you're back here. The lovely Julie Andrews, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with the lovely and talented Julie Andrews. We're looking at uh, limericks from her book, uh, Poems. Uh, uh, what is it called? Poems, songs, and lullabies. Poems, songs, and lullabies. Thank we'll you. do poems and songs, but if we do lullabies at this time of night. We'll. There's two limericks here. Do right. you want to do one and I'll do another one? All right. Uh, All the right. only thing is, uh, you don't need glasses. And no, do you want me to do them then? I would suggest All right, then. Two limericks. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll do one, we'll see how it goes, and if it works, I'll do All the right, other one. All right, well then All do... Right. Uh, I can't do that one with this Nantucket. One. All right, I'll do the other one. <laughs> a lady... You don't give up, do Yeah, you? I know, listen. I, I'll get a dead horse and I'll flog that bastard all night long. <laughs> Two limericks. Uh, a lady named Marjorie Reed swallowed oysters whenever she'd feed. She was hoping, poor girl, to deliver a pearl, but the best she produced produced was a bead. That's right. <laughs> so she pooped out beads, is what you're saying? No. She didn't? No. She That's how oysters are made, isn't it? Well, I don't... Oh, I mean pearls. Pearls, yeah. not oysters. Oysters. Yeah. Who knows how oysters are made? It's the miracle of life. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you, I'm glad you, you got me out of one. <laughs> Do you, do you like oysters? Uh, yes. Less as I get older, because I think my mother was allergic to them and I might be too. What are we talking about oysters for, my friend? <laughs> well, well I, don't li I don't like oysters and I was, I was hoping I you, we could talk about it. Uh, well, there's not really very much to they're, say about oysters, is there? Well, you like them. I do. And I don't. Well, there you are. <laughs> now we've said it all. I guess. Yes. What about other shellfish? <laughs> Could we talk about tooth fairies or spandex or spandex? Uh, yeah. Or fairyoki? Fairyoki or fairyoki? Yeah. 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 The, you the, really the, like this that? Huh? Does fairyoki actually happen in the movie? No, it's talked about, but it doesn't. I wish I could say it did, but because it would have been fun. I. Uh, but there is a lot of spandex in the movie, and I really think you'd love it. No, I don't like spandex. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I don't like spandex on Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Really? <laughs> the first Dwayne time... Dwayne The Rock's Johnson. <laughs> I... Uh, I have to tell you, the first time I saw him, I yeah. met him, he was dressed in a pink fairy tutu and spandex tights and wings, and he still looked gorgeous. So and that was, that was before you started work on the movie actually, then? You yeah, know. yeah. I went on the set and there he was. Wow, really? Yeah, and, yeah. He's, uh, and he's still gorgeous. Is that me? the kind of... Uh, do you like uh, men who are uh, muscly? Are you attracted to that kind of thing? Uh, well, certainly him I found very attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't apply to all muscly men. I mean, right. I like you very much. Oh, hey, now what? We were friends. We are, we are. I read your poem. Yes, you did. Thank you, thank you. No, no, it's a, did you ever write any poetry? Yes, I did. There's a few in there. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> what are your poems about? Uh, again, probably fairly real things. Um, uh, my daughter and I challenged each other to uh, write a poem about family because it's a, a book for all members of the family. Right, yeah. And uh, she chose to write one about her daughter and right. I chose to 
quite by accident, write one about my daughter, who is Emma. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Do you reveal any of her embarrassing secrets? Uh, well, there is one in there that's fairly sweet. It isn't uh, embarrassing, but it is very endearing. I thought what I would do with, with my son while he's young is film all his embarrassing moments and then put them on YouTube. <laughs> Now. He's eight and a half now. Oh well. Well, I figure if I if I get a collection before he's eighteen, he'll have to pay for his own college. Because I'll be like, <laughs> you'll be out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but well, maybe if you put them on YouTube, it'll bring in so much money that he'll. Uh... There's no money in YouTube. That's why I do this crap. Oh, I. See. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, you, you, you can't get any. Um, and, and, and to be fair, there's no money in this crap either. But... <laughs> But, no, do you, are you an inter, are you internet savvy? Do you go on all the time? Um, I'm not as internet savvy as my daughter, who's right. a whiz at it, but I'm internet enough, savvy enough to... Uh, do you email? I do you? email a lot, and I get on, she and I work on the iChat camera a lot, uh, because she's in oh, New York right. and I'm here. Oh, yeah, I do that do sometimes you? with yeah. the Skype, not with your daughter, but the, uh... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm uh, not sure. I don't know either. Are you well? No, I, I think I have to work out a little more. I feel very unmuscly all of a sudden. <laughs> it's fine. Julie, we're completely out of time, but I was wondering if you would possibly make an arrangement now to come back sooner uh, so that I don't have to wait so long to talk to you next I time. I love it. All right. I'd I do adore it. it when you're here. The lovely Julie Andrews, everybody. <laughs> Tonight, my my first guest tonight is an icon uh, who, when she finds out uh, what happened today, she will actually get booked on a better show because <laughs> she just found out today that the new children's book that she wrote, uh, the very fairy princess takes the stage. I think I've read that, uh, <laughs> or maybe I just lived it. <laughs> but it's just become number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Number one, please welcome the lovely Julie Andrews, everybody. Julie. to see you. I haven't seen you in too long and you look sensational, well, may I say. Well, thank you. And congratulations. Well, well, I, man, before I talk about the, the book, I, your jacket is so lovely. Isn't it pretty? It's very nice. It's got flowers on it. Yes, it's sort of got, uh, it's got a tulip on the back or something. Has it really? Can I, can can I see? Yes. Well, let, me, let me see. Can I stroke it? Uh, well, I thought the audience should, there you go. All right, can no. I stroke yes, it? Yes, please. Thank you. That's enough. Well, I can't struggle anymore. Well, you could if you really want. But can uh, we wait till the commercial? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, it's, it's just my way of... Uh, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> apropos of nothing, have you ever been to Brazil? No. Okay. No, uh, I haven't. <laughs> have you? In my mind. I, <laughs> in I, your dreams. In my right? dreams, yeah. Sometimes my wakey awake dreams <laughs> as well. This is lovely, though. I'm very, very happy for well, you. You're very Number kind. one, that's awesome. I know. Well, the thing is this. Uh, we, uh, since I last saw you, my yes. daughter and I, and I write with, with my daughter Emma Walton right. Hamilton. Uh, Walton Hamilton? Walter, Emma Walton Hamilton. Sounds good. Is she, is she married to someone called Hamilton or Walton? She's a Walton married to a Hamilton. Right. Yes. That's a lot of name right there. Right. Yeah, you... <laughs> a name to be reckoned with. Right. Yes, sounds, yes. sounds terribly, terribly posh. Well, she's really very down to earth and real and lovely and huggable. I didn't. I wasn't suggesting you had an imaginary daughter. No, 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 no. No, I understand she's real. Are you inferring that I couldn't have a posh daughter? No, no, I, no. of course not. You're very posh. You're Dame Julie Andrews. Anything you do is posh. Your jacket is posh. The only posh thing that you have is being here. This is not that posh. Yes, I understand that, but yeah. I'm, but we're friends. <laughs> Very happy to see you. Thank you. But anyway, this book, uh, we, we bought out the first one about a year ago called The Very Fairy Princess, and it's about a little girl who 
is a despite, theory? No, despite every indication to the contrary, she is convinced that she is a very furry princess. Her socks are about her ankles, her knees are scraped. Is this about Lindsay Lohan or something? No. <laughs> is it? No, but it's, it's really about your individual spirit and how oh. if you just... Now, I don't want any rude remarks about this. If you would just let your sparkle out, you would uh, be <laughs> anything you want to be, OK? See, now, not... here's the problem. Now, this is the problem, because... I didn't do anything rude. You said, let your inner sparkle out, and I can see your inner sparkle coming out right there. That's because we're friends, and I know you very well. Well, that's see? right. That, and I'm naughty. Yes, you are. I am yeah. naughty. That's putting... Whereas you are not naughty ever at all. Really? Well, you don't know me very well. <laughs> anyway, having said that, the number your one book... nails are fantastic. Oh, will you shut up? Uh, but they are, though. They're not... Nice. I'm trying to talk about uh, my Oh, yeah, yeah, book. all right. The book, the book is great. It's number yeah, one. No, but the... wait, wait. How no. better can it do? Come on! Number... No, the first version, which was a year ago, went right. to number one, which was lovely, right. and stayed there for a while, and we just brought out the second one called... And it's got a number the one. The Very Fairy Princess Takes the Stage. Right, That's, so... You haven't got that one here. Oh, you... this, is the, this is the old one, then? This is the old one, Oh, I'm yeah. terribly sorry. So we don't have the new one? Well, I don't. Well, they were sold out. It's number one on the best seller. <laughs> we couldn't get it. <laughs> That's, lo that's a lovely picture of you and your that daughter right there. That is Emma Walton oh, she's right lovely, there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I, as I was literally getting in the car to right. come here, right. uh, I got news that it's the second book of the series is uh, number one on the children's best. Well, that's a lot of money in them children's books, you know. Well, I hope from your oh, yeah, lips no. to someone's ears. Yeah. yeah, no, you'll get a lot of money. That J.K. Rowling, she's worth about a well, hundred bucks or more. Of course she is, yeah. <laughs> worth yes. a lot of money. You know. Listen, what? I hear that you had a birthday yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, it was 49. Yeah. Yeah. I really hate it. I really hate it when people applaud my age because it makes me feel like they're going, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we won't talk about mine then in that case. Um, anyway, I thought I'd bring you a little present with these lovely books. I get to keep no, the book? you don't get to All keep right. the book. Well, you can keep the book. You right. certainly can. Uh, but uh, we, we're also selling uh, children's pajamas packaged with the book. It's called Books to Bed. And I thought you might. Like I'll never to get have... into a pair of children's well, pajamas. Wait, 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 I'm too wait, wait, fat. Wait. No, uh, this pair actually. This is the only adult pair of very fairy princess pajamas. And uh, they. I just thought. Goes on wow. and on and on. There we go. Wow. And well, I think we've got a close to the show tonight. <laughs> so there you go. And wow. So they were made for you for fun, and that's my happy birthday present. Well, thank you so much. No, so... no, no. Don't go there. No, 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 no. No, I must, darling. It's lovely. Do you mind if I put them on over my... Uh... Well, no, I'd rather, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can manage that one. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing a microphone and then I've got my Spanx on underneath this, yeah. but I'm, I'll try. I'm, no, just hold it up against you. That's probably the best thing. No, excuse me. You said don't do any naughty, rude things, and then you sparkled and said, just hold it up against you, and I saw you doing it. I saw you doing it. Do you get your nails done in a salon professionally? Because they are very nice. They're, they're, yeah, they're not... Well, they're good enough, you know, for a fairly old wrinkled hand but no that's not an old wrinkle that's a lovely hand well, there it is you may kiss it thank you uh, are we still talking about your hand yeah <laughs> see well you started it you no, started I yes didn't. you did no, yes I you didn't. did <laughs> yes you did no i i want to put this on but i but i think you might have to no you, i think it's going to get in the way of no the I've, I've just had a great idea what? i've had a great idea what i'll do is i'll go, we'll go to a commercial break and then I will uh, put that on, and I'll, the sound man can come and, and change the microphone, and then when I come back, I can be wearing them, and that'll plug your book even more. Well, you know, as they say in vaudeville, what a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. 
Welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Julie Andrews who made me some pajamas. <laughs> which I'm very happy because they're very fairy princess pajamas. Just what I always want. <laughs> No, no, I'm serious. We would make them for, for, for very small children. This is the first really grown-up pair that we've ever had made. You know, the, the, this is, there's a, actually, there's a, I think there's a website for people that like to dress up as... Uh... <laughs> These are pyjamas that are packaged with the book, and they're called Books to Bed, and so... Uh... Uh, books to Bed, right. Yes. Do, you, do, did you, do, you, do you want me to read you a story right I now? I love a bedtime story, yes. Please. <laughs> As long as now, you keep what it. Is it, now, what is it about every time I talk to you? Because I don't think of you as being, I mean, I think of you as being, uh, you know, sort of uh, dignified and I have a lot of class, but every time I talk to you, everything seems sexual. <laughs> is that not, me? I think it is, yes, I do. I think it's, it is not. You did it again. You did that thing. You did. I think it is, yes. And then you did that little thing like that. Because I think you do it with everybody. No, no, no. Au contraire. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, Howie Mandel's out here. I hardly look at him. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Do you, do you find that, do you think that people flirt as often as they used to? I mean, I think it's different now. They do it in texts and phones and yes, stuff, Yes, they don't do, they? yeah, and, and exchange a lot of photographs and things like that, oh, which doesn't seem like a very smart idea. Yeah, in the old days, we had to imagine sending photographs of each other's genitals to each other. And... <laughs> No, they actually do. Yeah. It takes all the fun out of it. Don't you? I think I, there probably is as much flirting, probably more if you think about it. There's some it... right went on right there when you did that. <laughs> really? You think more? Why? Well, I think ladies flirt a lot as much as guys do now, don't they? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of out of that game now, really. Really? Yeah, well, I got the lady princess pajamas on and stuff. <laughs> You know, Just for tonight. No, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm wondering if this might be the way to combat the hideous lighting in this show. <laughs> actually, you do look really beautifully lit, right? I know, I think if Can I started... Can you see yourself in the camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that us on TV? I thought it was, I thought we were just like in a sports bar. <laughs> So, so listen, I want to talk to you about. Are you, do you still have a place in Switzerland? I do. Right. Yeah. Do you go there a lot? Uh, well, you know, my husband was very ill. Uh, yes, and, I know. That. And recently, very sadly, passed away. Yeah, so I heard. I was very sorry I to hear that. Yeah, thanks, Craig. And so I haven't been as much recently, but uh, I was there just about a month ago, and to just. Um, sort of rest up and get my head straight and all of that. It's beautiful. I, We've had a home there for about 41 years. I rather fancy Switzerland. Oh, you without... have every... Didn't uh, Chaplin correct? go and live in Switzerland? Yes, Charlie he Chaplin yeah, went to live in... Yeah. He, had, he had eight kids after the age of 55, you know. Did he? Yeah. Well, good. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm going to have... I, like, I want to have like a dozen. Well, you better get in shape, is all I can say. <laughs> I mean, get in shape. I'm sitting here. Dr yeah, I see your point. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you know what? I, if you want to come and scout it out, I'm sure you've been, but... Uh... No, I, you know, I've never been to Switzerland. I've only ever seen uh, cartoons with Goofy learning to ski. Oh. Yeah. Well, come and, come and visit, and I'll show you the most beautiful place in the world, and uh, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Well, what are you... Look, see, are you doing it again? <laughs> You, see, I think I don't. Th I don't think you even know no, when no. you're doing it. You don't even know when you're doing it. You said, "Come and see." Well, I'll show you one of the most beautiful. Really <laughs> no, like, you just have a filthy mind. I do not. I just have a filthy. See, now this is the mind game you're playing with me. I, I do have a filthy mind. I admit I have a filthy mind. So. But you play Boy, mind games with my filthy mind. I never. You do. I can't even look at old, you know, DVDs of Mary Poppins without thinking, what the hell is going on now? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I have to tell you something about that. What? When I made Mary Poppins, yeah. uh, uh, I was married to my first husband, who was the designer of all the clothes of Mary Poppins. Oh, designers were straight back then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very, this one was. Oh, okay. And um, that's my Emma's dad. Oh, really? Right. Okay, okay, got it? Yeah. And uh, he decided that although Mary Poppins was extremely prim on the outside, if you looked at the petticoat or you looked at the lining of the jacket, they were always cherry red or crimson or yeah. bright, bright blue. And he said, I think she has a little, tiny little sort of second life going on, you know? <laughs> 
Was this as you were getting together he had this idea? Uh, no, no, this was when he was designing the clothes for me. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, were, were you already married at this point? Oh, or? yes. Oh, yeah. you were? No, right. no, we were. So he knew you pretty well then? Well, he, no, he... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, he, he brought a little bit of his own experience of the actress and the creation of the part along with you, is what I'm well, saying. Well, no, I think he actually just knew Mary, or thought he knew Mary Poppins very I well. I like Mary Poppins. Have you seen the one on Broadway? Yes. What do you yes, think? I have. Well, I saw it in London before, right, right, before right. it came to Broadway, right. but I haven't seen the Broadway one. So. Yeah, I saw it on Broadway. I went with my son. He, uh, he was seven at the time, and I thought, it was one of these moments where you get, you get to know your, who your kid is, because yes. I thought, you know, about just uh, coming up to the interval, he said, and, uh, he said, I'm bored, like really loud. Whoa. <laughs> and I thought, well, he's not gay. <laughs> and that... But that was all I ever thought about it, really. <laughs> but tell me, did he like the rest of the show? Yeah, no, he loved it. Yeah, did no, he? I, yeah. I liked it too. I thought it was very nice. Yeah, yeah when I, you got to the chimney sweeps, it was okay. I love him. a bit of chimney. You know, Dick Van Dyke was here recently. Was he? Yeah, he's coming he's back. He's just again. written a book. Uh, well, that, that'll explain why he was just here. <laughs> uh, he's a love, isn't he's he? He's a lovely man, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, no, he's very nice. And unbelievably uh, 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 tall. young, tall. Young, yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. He can good still heart. dance. I know. Stuff. I know. I know. The knees can still do, you know, yeah. knees up, Mother Brown, and all of that. Knees up, Mother Brown. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to come and look at Switzerland? Yeah, yeah, I fancy, actually. I mean, if I can get out of this dump, I'll be right there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, don't you get a can break? I get, can I get a week off or something, go to Switzerland, see Julie? What do you mean, no? <laughs> They're, they're trying to test me because I'm having a cuss-free week on the show. I'm trying not to cuss to, at all. Wh when do you begin? <laughs> I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't... Oh, you mean with the rabbit? Well, a little bit before that, too, weren't... <laughs> no? No, I don't think I... I think I'm, like, I, I, I think I give the impression of cussing even when I'm not. It's like the way you give the impression of... See, you're doing it again! <laughs> You're doing it again! You give the impression, you might not be doing anything, but suddenly you're just gonna... And you go into this... You go into this kind of smolder, and I'm like, knock it off! No, I'm just a good second banana, that's all. No, I, I don't know if that's... Yeah. Is, is that code? Yeah. <laughs> we have to go. I'm getting very sleepy in my pyjamas. Now, is, is there anything you'd care to plug before we go? Uh, no. I mean, th thank you for plugging this brand new book, which I'm so thrilled and pleased about. Well, the book that's called The Very Fairy Princess Takes the Stage is that's number one right. on, the, uh, yeah. on, the, on the children's bestseller list. And, yeah, yeah. and there's a third one coming out next year. Well, you could plug that a bit. Fourth one after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mouth organ or awkward pause? Yeah. Well, oh. I don't play them. Uh, well, which would you rather? <laughs> Said she. I'll just fetch it. I'll be right back. Oh, he knew what he wanted. <laughs> he knows what he wants. You're... Right, here you are. All right, what do I have to do? Just blow it. You know fine. <laughs> Hold on. Is, is there anything in here? Hey, see? No, don't say no, it like wait, that. No, 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 no. no unwrap it. Slower, slower. <laughs> now tell me... You have to hold you it. You are so way. naughty. <laughs> you know what? That's a cop out, isn't it, gang? What? Yeah, it really is. What's a cop out? You. You just get away with murder and you say, oh, you're so naughty, you know? Oh, wait a minute. You've which seen side through do I my this? technique. Yeah. Which side? This side? Uh, I don't know. Which side do you think you should blow uh, for? Will you I... shut up? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gave you a nasty shock, doesn't it? Yeah. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. next guest is a legend. She's got a new children's book, The Very Fairy Princess. Here comes the flower girl. I can't wait to get my hands on that one, Jeff. Yeah, and the book too. And the book too. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Julie Andrews, everyone. <laughs> Oh, 
happy that you're here. Finally, a bit of class in this dump. <laughs> yeah, it's love. You look sensational. I love the white outfit. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's nice. You look um fresh. Yeah, well, you always look fresh. Yes, and I am. You, yes. you look fresh. You are a little bit fresh. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, do you know who was here recently? Carol Burnett. Oh, friend. my chum. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And she said, she told me a story about you and her making out. Oh, yes, there was one. one. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> you made out? Yes, you know. Well, she told you the story. Well, she I... did. Yeah, you were making out to try and... Uh, who was it you were trying to... Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols. Yeah, we were yeah, trying to, to get him. Wind him up, yeah. Wind him up, and it didn't work. He no, because was... the elevator doors opened, and you thought it was going to be Mike, and it was uh, the First Lady. No, it was Secret Service, first of all. It was the Secret Service? And then it was the First Lady. Uh, yeah. Well, Carol says it was the First Lady. Right. I'm, I think she embroidered a bit. The Secret Service now would pay extra to see you guys make it. <laughs> Yes, they would. Yeah, let me like. Well, you. actually, I don't know. The trouble is, they wouldn't pay extra. They'd argue with you and go, "No, come on, not uh, hundred bucks." No, well, they might. I don't know. Well, it was a silly gag, and we had the best. I mean, we were laughing so hard, and Carol ended up at the. Did she tell you that she ended what? up at the back of the couch? At the back of the couch. Yes, she was laughing so hard, and she was. So she went right over the back of a couch. Well, yeah, no, well, she went round <laughs> to the back of the couch. She laughed herself off of her seat no, and round. No, no, no. Listen. <laughs> Pay attention. Why are you so angry at me? I thought you were... were, were... No, never mind. No, I'm not angry. Uh, no, no, she just... We, with the, when it failed and the Secret Service were in the elevator and we looked up, she was so mortified that she got up and went around the back. Oh, and the then... Couch. Yes, I see. And then, supposedly, Lady Bird came out. Lady Bird Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then uh, she turned around and came back and looked over the back of the couch <laughs> and said, are you Carol Burnett? And Carol said, yes, and this is my friend Mary Poppins. And that's... <laughs> That's one that's part of the story. Uh -huh, I see. <laughs> right, now, listen, what we got here, uh, let's get the plug fest out of the way. You got the uh, Princess Diaries movie with the Princess Diaries 2. That's right. Yeah, Do you know about and, that? Yeah, no, that's lovely. That's you and that's Bruce Willis in the front. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen, this yeah, last week was National Princess Week. Yeah, my favourite week of the year, yes. sure. <laughs> did you celebrate? Yes, of course. I did it in the way that I always celebrate <laughs> National Princess Week. <laughs> Would you care to explain? I can't legally tell you. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, um, Disney were, were releasing the double... Uh, double princess. Uh, du double princesses, movie. one and two, yeah. and packaging it on in Blu-ray, and it, it is quite special. Uh, do, uh, I don't know what Blu-ray is. What is that? It's, uh, actually, I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> I, Blu-ray says... Just marvelous. Yeah, yeah, well, I tell you what. You want to get this thing on the Blu-ray or you're a loser? <laughs> Incidentally, I see that you're wearing a waistcoat these days. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, there, it's a waistcoat, or if you're an American citizen, as I am, it's a vest. A vest. Yes. But, uh, but we, of course, uh, I'd have called it a waistcoat back in the old country. Yes, and, it, and a vest would be something totally different. Yeah, a vest would be what they would call a tank top. Well, sort of an undershirt, really. Right, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But... <laughs> I am, um, but it, it's fetching. It really is. Fetching. I wear them now. They're cool. All the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Even uh, during uh, Princess Week, it I really? actually, yeah. Well, underneath... yes, but it's purple or, or royal. Purple. Well, it's 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 purple underneath. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking. You're the joke you're thinking of and not saying is just as dirty as the one I'm thinking <laughs> of and not saying. You know me too well. Yes, uh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> We, right, no, we've been on this show. I've been on too often, actually. No, no, I've been on too often. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, now, you write these with... Uh, my with, daughter. With your daughter, which I think is lovely. It is lovely. Believe, quite seriously, it's an absolute joy. And yeah. She's a, she's what age is your daughter? Writer. She, oh gosh, she's in her 40s now. Oh, right, I I'm see. going to be... So she, she can do a big joined-up writing, then? Yes, she yeah, can. Right. Yes, she can. But this was inspired by her daughter, her little girl, Hopi. And uh, it, it's... Lovely illustrations. They well. are, aren't yeah. they wonderful? And I, I have to tell you, it, uh, it, within five days, it went up to number three on the bestseller. That's fantastic. Isn't Congratulations. that nice? Now, now, what does that, what does that look like, you know, money-wise? Is that a lot? Is that like a well, million bucks every a, time it goes up? I don't know, but it means that a lot of books. You probably have a, you have a lot of money now. Uh, well, from your lips to yeah, yeah, no, it's a lot. <laughs> to my I, pocket, I should say. Yeah, excuse me. No, don't go there. What? <laughs> I was going to say though, but if you need some extra cash, a tell-all book. 
Yes. That's the way. Um, have you written a memoir? I you have. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So, um, did you edit, compress any of your old lovers? Uh, like like uh, Mr. Obama? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was reasonably tactful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to be. I remember when I talked about, <laughs> when I was talking about my ex-girlfriends, or, uh, you know, one ex-girlfriend, I only had one, and then I was married to my wife. <laughs> uh, there, yeah. And it was my wife who was my ex-girlfriend. I've only been with one woman my whole life. Really? That's a, that's... <laughs> That's a fake. Look at yeah, me. Yeah, Look know. at me. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Uh, do you want to do it or will I do it? Uh, well, uh, we're going to go to break now, folks, okay? That was The yes, and then and then yeah. that's all gonna. Anyway, we better. Um, yes. Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm here talking to uh, Julie Andrews. We we try and keep it quiet during the break. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out of time, Julie. We are. Well, not really, but I like to start the second part with that because it usually takes a long time to wind things up. Oh, okay. You. Like okay. I try and get it finished, but you know. How quickly time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> You know, I detect a certain lack of sincerity in what you just said. Well, no, no, I really... really you did it again! You did no, it again! Yes, you did. You did the well, pause, pause, pause. You know pause. what? You really... Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so how do you want to finish it up? Do you want an awkward pause? Do you want a mouth organ? Or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Oh, I'll go for the big cash prize. Yeah. What time is the show? It's time for the big cash prize. In quarters. In quarters. In quarters, yes. Very Two useful. ways to win. You can either answer my question, which is here, or yes. you can guess what's in my box, which is here. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. You try and guess what's in the box. If you get it right, great. If you get it wrong, something awful happens. Okay, Jeff, right? All right. He can't do that. He ca no, no. Do this. If you can do that, you can do that. <laughs> okay, Jeff, yeah, right? Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, I'll go for imagining what's in the box in your head. You don't want to try this question because it's really fun. Is it? Can well, I, I'll just ask you the. I'll just I tell you both? the question. Yeah, you can do both. All right, quickly. All right, then. Iceland we're is, out of time, folks. Right. Well, does that mean you get a hundred dollars? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Go on. Do you want to double down and go for a hundred dollars? I keep an extra fifty bucks here in case I have to bribe any guests who are crap. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Like, All right, let's do it. Well, because, look, you know, if, if you've got a guest that comes out, you see why I say we're out of time before we start? Because yes. Yeah, right. So, if you have a guest who's rubbish, and they go, I don't know, I don't know, and then you go, does this refresh the <laughs> Just one dollar? Well, you start, you know, you get them going, see, you know. I see, I see. Anyway. All right, double up. Does this refresh? Anyway, right. So, $50, if you can, guess what's in my box and answer the question. Wow. All right. Oh, I no, you said a hundred. No, that's what I meant, a hundred, a hundred. Oh, okay. All right, $100 in the bag with the dollar sign on it, right? Uh, chances of my getting this right are very remote. I oh, would. I, I wouldn't think so. Okay. I, I, I've got a feeling you're going to do well. Okay. Because it's CBS money. Uh, <laughs> all right, first question. Mm. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. I know that. You're right, good. Yes. Now, true or false, turkeys are bisexual. <laughs> Let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> well, uh, my knowledge of turkeys is not extensive, but uh, are you giving me a hint? Yes. No, I'm giving you the answer. Yes, they're bisexual. Oh, they are. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, you're halfway there. You're halfway there. Ah. Are they really? Yeah, they are. Well, good for them. Good. <laughs> good for those turkeys. Yes. Uh, My God, I'll look at them with a whole new respect from now on. Yeah. Well, you don't respect just plain old heterosexual turkeys. <laughs> I'm not eating this turkey. It's a heterosexual. <laughs> you don't. No, never mind. Okay. I, so I, now, I was going to go with the stuffing. Huh? No, no, all right, no. All right. Now. Um, now, now you have to guess what's in my box. I, okay. For the, for the big money prize. For the big money prize. All right. Okay. I'm imagining a box. You're imagining a box. Okay. How big is the box? I'm not telling you. Okay. All right. 
Uh, you have to guess what's that. Jeff, have you got the box? Yeah, it's, it's purple on the inside. All right. Purple on the inside. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jeff. You're very well. uh, I'm imagining you're thinking about maybe a princess tiara in your box in your head. That is correct. It it's is correct! correct. My first guest tonight is an icon. Her latest children's book, The Very Fairy Princess Follows Her Heart, is in stores now. Good night, gentlemen. <laughs> Julie Andrews! Julie Some class in this dump. <laughs> How lovely this is This is you. very new. It is new. Yeah, yeah, you haven't been in the new one yet. No. Do you it's, like it? Well, it's not that much different from the old one, is not it? Not really at all. No, no. 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 We, we, moved the, uh, we moved the headstones, but we didn't move the bodies. I think... Well. <laughs> we, you know, we I think it's very is nice. Is everything it's all right just, there? Yeah, it's fine. It's just that it was wandering, and I didn't... What was wandering? It. Well, well... The, one of them? Uh, uh, yes, as a matter of fact. I didn't know that happened to ladies. They wander. What? Sometimes downstairs, my things wander too. Do they really? Yes. Well, thank you for sharing. Well, really I just I saw you. The things were kind of you know. No, it was the scarf. Oh, the idiot. scarf. Yeah. I see. <laughs> you are still bad. I'm very very naughty. Yes, as you've, you gotten, know. Yeah, yeah. you've gotten worse. Have you? I? Yes. No, I, think I don't so. think. I think I'm just excited because you're here. I'm not actually worse. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not sure I believe it, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this is what? This is number five in the yes, Sparkly number books? number five. Number six is already on the way. This is... Doing you must be making a fortune on these well, things. Like a fortune. From your lips to yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. else's pocketbook. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, this is number five, and it's a little series about a little girl who is actually the antithesis of a princess, if you know what that word means. No, I don't, actually, uh, no. Yeah. Um, the opposite. The opposite? Well, yes, why would you say opposite, then? Why are you trying to show off and well, say... Because, uh, well, I'm British, and, and you know, uh, I don't... You like to lord it over my people, sort of. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I don't... I've got a very well-behaved audience, but they're very enthusiastic. But if I... Would, would that happen if I did that? Yeah, it might. How... <laughs> they were more excited about doing it for you than they were for me. Yeah, well... Well, that's... you're Julie Andrews. Are yeah, you Dame Julie Andrews? Or? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes, but we don't we don't talk about it that much. Well, why not? Well, I think it's a great it's, honor. Well, it's, it is a great honor, but it's very it's a, just a lovely private personal. All right. Theme. Well, I'm sorry I brought it up. Yeah. Well, no, it's all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> have you do do you sing for the royals uh, ever? Uh, well, I have in my youth. I did a uh, fair fair amount of times. If you ever run into them again, would you apologize on my behalf? What? <laughs> What do I have to say? Well, I, occasionally I poke fun at them here, but I, I mean it in a very kind of... Yes, you know, I don't think you really mean it, do you? No, 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 I don't mean it. I, look, I've got a, a commemorative plate of Her Majesty's Jubilee up on my mantelpiece right up there. Uh, that, right next to my Pat Sajak photograph uh, and my right. avatar. Huh. I see. Yeah, that's got to be some kind of coronation or jubilee. It's a jubilee plate. It's for it's 60 years of Her Majesty's glorious reign. Over, yeah, it has been a glory. I mean, oh. she's worked so hard. See, the thing about princesses is yes. it's nothing to do with the handsome prince and the jewels and the crown and all the outside things. It's the way you are Your inside. inside princess. Exactly. How you feel about yourself and I all think of that. I've spotted a new demographic for you. <laughs> it's about your inside, princess. It's about... It's about being yourself and letting your sparkle out. Is whatever. Well, that's, that's a lovely message for little girls. Well, is it just for little girls? I suppose so, yeah. Well, I'm sure some little boys might enjoy it. Well, of course, I'm not judging. No, but no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. 
Um, uh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah. No, well, and it's it's uh, it's for Valentine's Day, of course, because it's coming up, as you know. Yeah, yeah. And I, um, you, well, I'm I'm mm, I don't know about Valentine's Day. I always pretend that I have to enjoy it, but I don't really enjoy. Nobody it. sends you Valentines. Occasionally, mad people. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just making a note of that one. <laughs> I like she's got red hair. I'm glad you like yeah. that. Yeah, she's, she's got... Because too many people are aggressively, uh, you know, against gingers, I've noticed. Are the they? Yes, yes, gingers are, uh, are oppressed by many people. <laughs> you know what they say, you know, gingers. No. I don't either, because I don't listen to that rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, yeah, you caught yourself out on that. No, I did. I yeah. talked myself right into a problem. Yes, yes. Have you ever done that? Uh, many times, Chris. You're, no, a... you're very sophisticated, though, Julie. You're very... No, I'm of, not. You're I'm urbane, not. I think. Urbane. Urbane, yeah. Why do you use those ridiculous words? You started it! Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I going to do? Yeah, no, I think I think of you as being very sophisticated and classy. I mean, look, you know. Well... You know, you've got it all going on. Well, and I've been around a, a long time, and that helps a bit. Well, you know? a certain amount of time. And your, your body of work as well, I, th I think, is important. I, mean, I thought you, you were going to say it was my body. It is. Your, <laughs> well, with, with the possible exception of your wandering breast, everything's... Just, everything's oh, I left right in the breast. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I'm God. so sorry. I can't believe I even said the word breast in front of you. I feel terrible. Would you prefer bosom or bosom? Or... I always prefer bosoms, yes. Yes. Well, there are two, but... Well, but I know. You know. And it wasn't wandering. I told you that. I know it wasn't wandering. It yes. was just... It, was, it, it wasn't just... errant in any way. Not in any way, no. Practically perfect, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's nice to see you. Oh, uh, it's nice what to see you. What else have you been up to? Do, do you, have you been uh, holidays or anything? Yes, I had a wonderful holiday over Christmas. Where did I you go? I was in Europe, in, in Switzerland, as a Oh, right. very nice. Beautiful, just beautiful. You know, they've got the chocolate there. Well, they do. Yes. Yeah, lots of them, by the way. What, yeah. chocolate? Yes, lots. Did you, do you have the chocolate melty with marshmallows in it, or do you have it nice and well, solid? Well, no. Have you ever had a Coupe Denmark? A Ooh. really great Coupe A Coupe Denmark? Denmark? Yes. Is that? Kind of, is that a sex thing or something? <laughs> I, why do you always go to that? Um, I don't. No, Coop, you always go to that. <laughs> because when you said Coop Denmark, you went, Coop Denmark, you no, did that little I thing. Didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I, only because I saw it coming in your eyes. You know, okay. I see it. Uh, no, Coop Denmark, well, everybody knows. It's this great, rich, rich ice cream, and then you put hot chocolate and nuts and whipped cream oh, and... Oh, Lord. And Yes, I'd like that. If you like, you'd love it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they you have put a meringue on it. Oh, anything you want. Yeah. We Blake used to make a Coop Edwards, which was extra stuff on top of a Coop. Bacon. Dish. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I never tried bacon. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. try bacon on everything. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do like it. I mean, I really mm, do. Me yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. What's not to like bacon? <laughs> Is there bacon on the commercials tonight? There might be. It's commercial time anyway. We gotta, uh, do you, you want to go to the commercials or shall I? Uh, what would you like me to say? Oh, just here come some commercials. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, this camera here? Yes. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think, regrettably, we're going to go to some commercials, but it might give us a break and I can adjust my scarf again and things like that. Julie thought that she was allowed to go during the commercial break. I've just informed her that she has to stay for another segment. And she was alarmed! <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, you did. You said, darling, I shan't keep you. You've got more stuff to do. I said, yeah, you. You have to stay here for another uh, bit. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, there you are, then. So, then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, what should we talk about? Ever played golf? <laughs> No, no, my, my stepdad was a left-handed scratch player. Wow. Believe it or not. And uh, my mum was a golfing widow, so golf never really appealed that much. I started playing it about three or four months ago, and I'm hooked. It's like crack to me. Is it? Yeah. My lovely, uh, the, the, the man that takes care of my makeup for me, he 
took it up not long ago and he really? loves it. Yeah, loves no, it. it's it's got something. It's all walking around in well, it's odd outfits. Area. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wear uh, knickerbockers and things like that? Yeah, sometimes. And then uh, even I, when I'm playing golf sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the high socks and so on. I like all of that, yeah, and, yeah. and a nice hat. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you I have to distract you from how I'm playing the game by what I'm wearing. I, I think see. that's... I see. Do you have a handicap yet? Uh, yes. Oh. Should I not go in? I should not... It's a little bit like your damehood thing. It's kind of a private... I thing. get it. You don't... Yeah. Very, very personal. Private. Yeah, I get it. I get it. What sports have you ever... Have you ever played sports? Then? Well, I've tried. I mean, I'm not very good. I'm better at fireside sports and things like that, you know? What? Fireside sports? Oh, right now. What, like a uh, high jump? <laughs> well, yes, if one of the coals has fallen out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I'm, I'm not a great sportswoman, and it's Do you funny. like watching sports? I do. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. No. What, what, well, what? I, love, I love American football. I really do. It's very good, isn't it's it? I enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And tennis. Tennis. Uh, tennis. Yeah. Do you think I'll ever be watching you playing golf on one of the big tournaments or something? Yeah. You really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to get good enough so that I can be in those pro-am things with all these other... Really? Uh, yeah, all the, like all these like show business hacks. Uh -huh. that do the, I want to be one of them. You really do? Yeah, yeah. I want to walk around going, hey, everybody, I, I'm one of these guys. I can't wait to see it. Oh, it'll be dreadful. <laughs> uh, well, no, I, I would love to do all of that, but yeah. I just can't do it yet. But you have the time now to... To play sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, I only do this at night, and that's it. <laughs> Julie, it's always a pleasure to see you. Congratulations on book five. Yeah, it's doing awfully Prince. well. It is. It's a New York Times bestseller. I'm it's very proud of you. It's on the second, but it's number two on the on the bestseller list. This Don't week. say number two in the show. It get, it... <laughs> now you see, you couldn't just end on a nice, easy note, could you? You are such. No, a... Julie, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you long time, Julie. Hi, I'm Bill Clinton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know that 78% of Americans use the internet every day? Did you also know there's a button on it that deletes your search history? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that.